Oh my God, I have. This, he couldn't have come in on a better day. Now, before we bring in Philly 500, you know, we started to do some stuff with here with uh, Mark Holmes, and he keeps referencing a guy who I love, Philly 500, as his, that's my son. And I'm just, I, I have to get some clarification as we start this here before we get into Jalen Hurts' comments today, Belichick potentially being the head football coach down the line here in Philly, and A.J. Owens all day long acting like a diva. Before all that, we have to pose the question, are you Mark Holmes' son? Philly 500. <laughs> No, of course I'm not Mark Holmes' son. Mark Holmes is my bitch, all right? That's just the truth of it. This guy bets me constantly and loses. He gets one time, he gets it on me, and, and, and you know, it goes to his head. Let me tell you, you're dealing with a very delusional, very, very delusional man, all right? I, I mean, Sills, I, I, this guy, can, he can infect you. This guy walks around with a voodoo doll. He's satanic. He's satanic. Uh, nah. <laughs> He's guys, satanic. He is. He sacrifices chickens. He goes around with, with a voodoo doll. Now, he, this is a very delusional man you're dealing with. Just remember that every time. I mean, you, you heard him talk about Kellen Moore. I listened to the show where he came on and talked about Kellen Moore for 20 minutes about how he's a choker in the playoffs. The guy can't even come to grips that his quarterback without Kellen Moore still stinks in the playoffs. The guy's delusional. Totally. Is this all because he's a cowboy man? Well, it, it's it's that he's not only a so cowboy man. So being a man, cowboy fan has infected him. Well, he's a cowboy fan who's who, who wishes that Dak Prescott was his real child. <laughs> and no matter what, he will he will go to bat for Dak Prescott to ridiculous levels. I mean, ridiculous levels. Dak Prescott throws a really bad interception. It's everybody else's fault. Like, this guy cannot come to grips. And, I, and this is my open question to Mark Holmes for the last few years. How many more playoff games does Dak Prescott got to choke in before you can put some responsibility on him? He can't do it. Can't do it at all. So I he's, told he's him, a very hey, delusional man. I told him this. If you're investing – and Micah Parsons and CeeDee Lamb and Dak Prescott to win you a Super Bowl, you're going to be waiting 30 more years. Cause that yeah, it'll happen. never happen. No, his quarterback's a choker. That, that Green Bay game was horrible. He was horrible. And there was no Kellen Moore. See, I think Kellen Moore's the scapegoat. So uh, you're dealing with a, a Cowboy fan who, on top of that, is in love with Dak Prescott, who, on top of that, walks around with a voodoo doll, sacrificing chickens. And then, on top of that, he can't take responsibility to the players that really deserve some responsibility. So okay. he's a delusional man. Well, let's like get to the high drama today. Here, and so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Ow! They run. They laugh. I see the glow shining in their eyes. One time, Philly? It seems distant. Strange. One time. I'm gonna make him an offer. One time. Last I checked, Dak Prescott is nine and four against the Eagles. How is it only one time, bro? One time? And mind you, while you're trashing my quarterback and what we did with the Green Bay Packers, y'all lost the same weekend to Tampa Bay, bro. To Baker Mayfield. Have any heart? Let's no. Go. 
They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, Caleb <laughs> Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't. Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness! Did he say they? <laughs>